What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video here today on my channel. Today what we got for you guys, we're going to be talking about some zombies and in the background you're probably going to be watching the same gameplay you've seen a couple times here on my channel because man do I really need to finish the Exo Survival Co-op so that I can get more playthroughs of the zombies Exo Survival Wave. But that's not the topic of today's video, what is that? Well, will zombies in Advanced Warfare disappoint the zombies fans? So first things first, I'm going to come out right now and say it, it's going to be a lot different than the zombies that we're used to. This is something that you're going to need an open mind to if you are a hardcore zombies fan and looking forward to or kind of skeptical about the Advanced Warfare Zombies iteration. But that being said, I'm not saying that you won't like it, I'm not saying that you'll love it, I'm just saying it's going to be different. What I mean by that? Well, it's going to be episodic and not continual. What I mean by continual is that it's just round based. You can go as long as you want and it really there's nothing left other than that, but just to try and get the highest surviving round. This is going to be episodic. It's going to carry over in the DLC as its own separate mode and probably tell a story. In that time the episodes fulfill, we're going to be following like what Ghost did where there's a clear objective as to what you're supposed to be doing with that map. You could probably take your time on it like you could with ghosts and draw it out a little bit longer, but pretty much it's going to be straightforward. You're going to try and complete one objective and then that's going to be it. If there is a story, it's not going to be attained through Easter eggs, but like in Ghost, the DLC clearly laid out a story for us with each of the chapters and objectives. Now, another big difference that I'm suspecting is going to be coming is that it's more down to earth. There's not going to be any mystical forces. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm not expecting there to be anything such as wonder weapons, teleporters, hellhounds, all that kind of stuff that was just kind of out there and added to the mysticism that zombies had surrounding it. I do believe that that itself could take away from some of the diehard zombies fans and take away from some of the creativity in theorizing things about the backstory and all that kind of stuff. I feel like Advanced Warfares is going to be a little bit more down to earth. Now, obviously, zombies isn't something that we're going to see pop up in the news on the headlines and all that kind of stuff in real life. But the concept of a science fiction compared to a plausible fiction, that is where I'm kind of drawing the parallels here. However, stating those differences that may deter from the actual enjoyability of the game mode, there are some things that I am quite excited for that I think can add to the actual enjoyment factor of Advanced Warfare Zombies, those things being the speed, the cutscenes, and a clear storyline. Clearly our zombies in Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and World at War didn't have exosuits on them or have anything to do with the exosuits, so it's going to add a lot to the game, it's going to add a lot to the verticality, the speed, as well as just the entire way the mode is played. Now, another amazing thing is the cutscenes and the storyline. Like I said, I'm guessing it's going to be a storyline set out for us here since it is going to be episodic. Now, clearly, I could be wrong. Maybe we'll just be playing things randomly, but my guess is that we're going to have a clear storyline here that will lead up to something. With that will come cutscenes, intel, all that kind of stuff, and with that means some beautiful looking cutscenes. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and World at War were all on previous gen, and the graphical limitations were much lower than what the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 could output at, as well as PC. We saw with Ghost the cutscenes were actually tremendously amazing looking, as well as with Advanced Warfare the cutscenes and just graphics overall are much better. So we get a much clearer and much more fluent story, as well as some cool intel to pick up along the way. Now with all that being said, there is definitely pros and cons to both sides of this being a brand new form of zombies. So do I think that zombies fans or diehards around the community will be disappointed with Advanced Warfare's version of Zombies. I think it's quite possible to be honest with you, but it really all boils down to how open-minded people can be. This is something that it's not going to be what everybody may or may not have wanted in terms of Zombies because we do know that this game mode was added in as DLC to please a large number of the community that was out crying for Zombies. Whether or not it was actually in the development process from the very beginning and on the sketchboards, that's something that we probably will never know, but seemingly responding to the outcries of the community, Zombies was placed in Advanced Warfare. Now what is probably going to be under a month away, the first DLC pack for Advanced Warfare Havoc is going to be out early January and that is going to include our first Zombies map. So in that point in time, we can start to get ready for the brand new Zombies, which we can hopefully come to love and know. So clear your mind my friends, hopefully you guys can keep an open mind going into Advanced Warfare's Zombies. Personally, I am 
am very excited for it, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comment section down below. Do you think that Advanced Warfare Zombies could disappoint the hardcore zombies fans, or if you yourself are disappointed or extremely pleased with what we're going to be seeing here in the next couple of weeks? That's all for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below, and he shares your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace. If you're OG like that, it was greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any news information, you guys know exactly to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinny Cole Espresso. As always, a big time a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>